Well, we heard from the FOMC this week, and Fed Chair Powell was asked and answered many of the questions investors have been pondering for months. So is it go time for the taper? And will rate hikes be soon to follow? Let's break it down. So first, after the September meeting, Chair Powell indicated that the taper is imminent. His outline is consistent with the timeline we've been using. The tapering plan will most likely have a November start. Now, not only has this been our timeline, but it also meets market expectations. In fact, many are actually anxious for the Fed to start this program, assessing the risks to continuing as being asymmetric. That is, it has the potential to do more harm in exacerbating financial imbalances than good. Now, the pace is important, and Powell indicated that against the current $120 billion monthly purchases, broken down as $80 billion in treasuries and $40 billion in mortgage-backed securities, the pace would most likely be a tapering of roughly $15 billion a month, bringing the tapering cycle to a close by mid-2022. Now, this is not surprising given the changes to the summary of economic projections, which now show inflation to be a bit stickier than originally anticipated. Powell was clear that from an inflation standpoint, the standard for tapering had been all but met. Now, could anything change in the next few months? Well, the biggest immediate threat is the debt ceiling, and a failure to raise the debt ceiling and the resulting financial market turmoil could push back the timeline. Next, consistent with the extremely careful communications over the past several months, Fed Chair Powell took pains to distinguish the conditions for tapering from those that would drive a change in interest rate policy. Despite the higher inflation forecast, the Fed is going to prioritize the full and inclusive employment goal. And like us, Powell expects conditions in the labor market, specifically the supply of labor, to improve over time. And last, for investors, there's a bit of a tug of war going on right now between those who believe that both inflation and growth have peaked, leading to a lower for longer interest rate outlook, and those who believe that the recent Fed forecast suggests a more confident outlook for both and potentially a faster liftoff. Well, our view is more aligned with the former, anticipating that it will ultimately be difficult for the Fed to raise rates at the forecasted pace amid a slowdown in economic growth, which is going to likely take us back to the pre-COVID trend channel. This reinforces our lower for longer for even longer interest rate forecast.